Three, two, one. Go. Staring at this growler right now. This looks mm -hmm. so good. We're here with Tannery Run Brew Works. Tim and Josh, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Yeah, for sure. We're getting all set for Haunted Hops Barbecue and Craft Beer Fest, which is happening this Saturday. Uh, we're so thankful you're going to be there uh, pouring beer for all of us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll talk all about how your brewery came about and uh, all about this Saturday, but let's crack open a beer and uh, drink a little bit. Absolutely. Come on, it's 11 a.m. What, what are we doing here? <laughs> Jeez, yeah. I'm thirsty. Yeah. Um, what what beer is this that I'm pouring? Let's see, that one is a Wild Horses. That's our Hoppy German Pilsner. Nice. There you go. It's uh, clean and crisp. Um, it is somewhat aggressively hot, but we also made it on the stronger side too to I like that. give it put a bit of a malt balance. A seven percent Pilsner is not something that you see every day, but it's something that I like to drink every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that is tasty. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. Nice. Uh, how long have you had this available? Uh, we've brewed that one three times, I believe now. Yeah, uh, but yeah three times now. And um, it's certainly a crowd favorite. We're already halfway through this batch and it hasn't been out very long. So we're brewing that one again soon. Wild horses. And this will be on um, on tap for Haunted Hops? Yep, we are going to have it for Haunted Hops. That's correct. Beautiful. What's a, um, I see on the growler, it says splatch brewed, splatch brewed. in Ambler. Mm -hmm. what, what's what's a splatch? Uh, splatch is our unique brewing method. Uh, it, it we literally just took the two words split and batch and combined them together, even though it's the word that means split. Um, huh. Yeah, so splash is our split batch method. So um, in our brew house, we have got one mash tun where we put all of the grains. We take and we split that off into two different boil kettles though. So the one base mash, we make two different beers from. And we'll have two uh, of our splashes at the Haunted Hops That's really this weekend. So the other side of the Wild Horses is actually a Belgian triple. Hmm. And the other side of the Ceiling Smasher is a is a American Blonde. That's really, really uh, interesting. I never heard of that. Yeah, it's kind of a way um, that we developed to to um, brew a high, higher volume of beer, um, but also have a higher variety of beer at the same time. So we can brew like a double batch at one time, but we don't we're not stuck with just one variety. We get two varieties off of one brew. Gotcha. Yeah. How long have you guys been in Ambler? Uh, we've been open just over six months now. Oh, okay. Yep, we're what, relatively new. And you're the co-owner, right? I am the co-owner, that's right. What what got you into this? Uh, tell me like a little bit of your backstory. I, I've been a home brewer for a long time, and I, I, I brewed in, in a couple of different breweries around the area. I also did winemaking and restaurant management, and um, you know, after I had left my previous job, um, you know, I kind of like looked at all the things that I had done in the past and said, well, this everything kind of fits together with opening up this Boo Pub restaurant, mm. let's give that a try. Yeah. And I somehow I pulled it off. <laughs> yeah. And when did you guys meet? Because you're a, a co brewer, right? Yes. Yeah. So gotcha. I am a uh, graduate of the University of Sciences Brewing Science program, nice. similar to Dave, who was here with Urban Village. Uh, I interviewed back in January with these folks uh, and got hired uh, the, the week of graduation. We had graduation on a Tuesday, met with them on Thursday for my official uh, That's fantastic. job offer. So the it, it was also coincidental that the 15th of March when the opening day was uh, one of my daughters turned 21. So she was able to have <laughs> have, a, have her first legal beer. Mm, on nice. opening night. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. timing was perfect on yes, that one yes, for her. It was, yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, what's the next beer that we're going to be trying? What's this bad boy? So that one is uh, Ceiling Smasher. Um, Ceiling Smasher. That's right. So uh, <laughs> it, is, it is a... How did that come about? F well, that's a great story. Uh, <laughs> it's a, a Belgian-style farmhouse ale, or okay. a, a, more of like a saison. Um, it, it's, it's not super funky. Uh, we brewed this beer with our state senator, Maria Collette. So, oh, wow. So uh, we, we said, hey, we're going to brew this beer together. Why don't you guys name it? So they named it Ceiling Smasher because she keeps smashing to the ceilings of <laughs> what's possible. and. Uh, PA uh, legislation. That's amazing. Yeah. That's cool. I never would have guessed that. Thank you for telling me that story. That's awesome. So the, the splash that we that we brewed with this one. So the, you know we, we brewed splash brewing with the ceiling yeah. smasher. We also brewed a beer that they named called the Hellbender. Okay. Uh, the Given Hellbender is named after our Pennsylvania state amphibian. So the Hellbender, a portion of the proceeds of the sales of that beer go to water conservation to help our oh, state wow. amphibian, and a portion of the sales of the ceiling smasher goes to the Pink Boot Society, which is a women in brewing system. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. You look thirsty. I see an empty <laughs> glass, which is just never fun. Come on. Gotta have a full glass before noon. That's just a crime. 
Here we go. Ceiling smasher it is. Well, I'm, I'm excited to try this. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Do you hear Cheers. the thing where if you don't look each other in the eye, it's bad luck? Do you, no. do you know about that? No. I, I, no? I just split my eyes and look at both <laughs> yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Uh, you can check them out right there at Ambler, uh, which is a beautiful place to visit. Ambler is great. Uh, or you can come this Saturday, Haunted Hops Barbecue and Craft Beer Festival. So happy to have you guys Thank on you. board for this weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Penthurst Asylum, hauntedhopsfest.com. Grab your tickets. We'll see, see you then. Cheers. Cheers.